a challenge. Jesus has given us full authority over Satan. Do you still live under the fear that Satan will attack you from time to time? Do you still have fear? Do you want to live without fear? Do you want to live with peace and joy? Two, when we have a close relationship with God and take care of our problems in life, there is nothing that we need to fear. So when we have close relationship and take care of the problems, we don't have to fear demons at all. We don't have to be afraid at all. We don't have to be afraid of attacks at all. Three, we have to discern biblical ways and non-biblical non -biblical ways, even if a lot of, lot of people think that they can have victory by screaming at Satan and casting demons out from the church or the area, we don't need to follow the way. The Bible only talks about casting demons our people. So the Bible only talks about casting demons our people and teaching people to love God and obey God and have a close relationship with God and serve God. And that's how we have victory over Satan. Some people think that you know they cast out demons from the church and from the area, then the church will grow fast. That is not necessarily true. Now, if there are demons there, they should cast out demons. But if not, we just build up the relationship with God and Satan will go away. Demons will go away. So the main thing is always building up the relationship with God, that people love God. Four, we can serve God boldly without fear. We don't have any kind of fear at all. Okay, so uh, now it's almost time, so we don't have to, time to go over uh, to the next theme uh, of next, uh, in the next two weeks. And uh, I hope that this message is helpful to you, this training is helpful to you, that, um, so we know that we don't have to be afraid of demons, that our concept of spiritual warfare is to love God and obey God in every way that we have um, truth as a belt we have the breastplate of righteousness that we have the gospel uh, that we it's like the shoes that we put on that we have the helmet of salvation and we have the sword of the Holy Spirit which is the Word of God and also we have prayer to have victory over Satan, that we preach the gospel and help people to obey God in every way, and then we have victory over Satan. And so we examine our heart right now. Do you have footholds for the devil to attack you? Do you have sins that attack you? Do you follow some sins and find it hard to overcome the sins? Now the key to overcome the sins is to have a close relationship with God. It's not just by casting out the demons. If a person has demons, then he should cast out the demons. But it's most important that he enjoy loving God and enjoy God and say, God is so good, I enjoy God. Then God's presence will give him strength to overcome sins. That's, that for sure will bring strength. Just casting out the demons doesn't give strength unless if the person has demons but loving God and worshiping God will give us strength then we have the strength from God and then the person the people you know together will worship God and love God and honor God in our prayer we spend more time loving God and declaring God's love God is loving me God is blessing me God is with me all the time thank you Lord you're so wonderful you're so good. So when we have a close relationship with God and then we take care of our sins, that we have the motivation. Sins are destructive. Negative thinking and negative emotions are destructive. So I don't want to let any of those things affect me. So whenever I have any of this, I will choose to obey God. I will choose to put down all those negative thoughts. Okay, let us pray now. Please stand up and think of the blessings of God think of how good God is whenever we pray we want to think about how good God is oh heavenly father we praise you and thank you we praise you and thank you you are a wonderful God you are a God of love you are a God of power and authority you have all power and authority on earth and in heaven every power belongs to you every authority belongs to you 
Lord, you have everything. When we have you, when we follow you and love you and obey you and serve you, we have the authority given by God. We have your presence. We have your blessings. We have everything. We don't have to be afraid of anything. The way to fight the spiritual warfare is when we have a close relationship with God, that we have strength from God, we have joy from the Lord, we, we have peace and we have love for people, we have the heart to do evangelism, we have zeal for the Lord, we have zeal to preach the gospel and strengthen other Christians. When we have this, then we have a strong spiritual life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's not hard to have a strong spiritual life because, God, you love us very much. You want to build up a strong relationship with us. You love us already in eternity before we were born, so you love us all the time. We have confidence that you love us very, very much. So we have confidence whenever we come to you sincerely. You are very happy with us. It's very important to have this confidence in God. When we are sincere in our repentance, for sure you forgive us. You are very happy. The whole heaven will rejoice over us, over us. And when, when we love you, and you are very happy, and will give us blessings that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and the human mind cannot think of. And you give us all kinds of blessings when we love you and obey you and serve you. And that way we have the blessings of God and the protection of God. And then we have victory over Satan. Lord, help us to have victory in the biblical way. Because the Bible has promised us. The Bible is your word. The, the Bible will give us assurance of victory over Satan. How, how to have a strong relationship with God. And how to have the protection of God. When we trust in you and obey you and have the shield of faith, we trust that God is a good God. God is a wonderful God. God is a powerful God. So we don't have to be afraid of anything. Lord, be with us. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Help us to repent of our sins. If we are following sin, we, if we are controlled by sin in any way, please forgive us. Please wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Please give us the motivation to overcome sins. We know that you are loving God and you are a powerful God. You are a kind God. You have all the blessings and you treasure us. You build up our life. And then when we love you and obey you and serve you, you for sure will bless us. And then when we sin, you will, uh, there will be destructiveness. So we don't want to sin. We don't want to fall, fall away from you. We want to love you and honor you. Whenever we love you sincerely, you'll be happy with us and you bless our life so we can serve you with joy and strength and we can enjoy you. Our whole life will be filled with joy and blessings. Lord, be with us. Th strengthen us. Hallelujah. I praise you and thank you. I praise you and thank you. I worship you. I, I adore you. I rely on you and trust in you. You are everything. You are my everything. You are my strength. You are my life. You are my everything. I trust in you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. We hunger for your presence. We hunger for your blessings. We hunger for your power and authority to, to overcome the power of Satan, to bring people into your kingdom. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. With Jesus, we can have joy and we can enjoy you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are so wonderful. You're so wonderful. God, you're so wonderful. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Fill us with your joy. Ha 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're a wonderful God. You're a loving God. You're a kind God. You're a joyful God. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to have victory over Satan. That we don't have to be afraid of Satan. Help us to have victory over sins. Help me, us to have victory over any kind of negative things. Help us to have victory and have a victorious life, a fruitful life that we can bring more and more people into your kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you have any questions, please send those to me. You know, actually, I hope that you will respond 
respond by writing you know responses and asking questions to make sure that you learn so I hope that you're responsive and also write messages that uh, ask, you know that you learn to you know in each message is very important to declare the God's nature and his grace uh, so in any message we look for God's nature and his grace is he has a wonderful nature if we talk about uh, the victory of Christ God is a victorious God God has the key to victory God has all the power ne needed for victory God has all the opportunities for victory so that's his his uh, nature and his grace is he'll help us to be to be victorious he will give us strength he will give us provision he will give us opportunities to be victorious he will help us he will teach us so that we will be strong again so we'll be strengthened again and then the reasons why some people don't cannot have victory because of the sins because they don't believe in God's victory they because some people think that they they can do everything they have pride uh, they think that they can do everything and then they end up losing everything so it's the the shortcoming of people th that they don't have the victory then how how can we have victory we trust that God is a victorious God God is all the ne ne necessary resources needed for victory he can give us all these resources he can give us strength and wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit and all the opportunities so that our life will go higher and higher so he can bless us so we trust in this so I hope that in your countries that you will you will trust in God's power that he can do great things and then we submit to God we obey God in every way and we have a close relationship with God and we always tell about God's goodness to people we so people when they see us they always are impressed with how good God is God is a good God God is a kind God God is a compassionate God God wants to bless us God wants to help us God give us strength and God give us all the resources so people can see that they can see the joy in our life they can see the strength in our life so people are attracted to us and their life changes and also when all the members in our church they see the goodness of God they see when they see our life is full of joy and then they they would want to live their lives like that too and they see the the goodness of holiness they see that obeying God will bring so much blessing so many blessings then they want to obey God and and they see that serving God is a wonderful thing and God will be pleased with them so they start to serve God so if you build up the people and they say yes I want to serve God because that will bring blessings to my whole life and then if I don't serve God and if I fall into sin it will bring destruction so we believe that yes with God everything is possible God will bless us God will be with us then we have strength and we have can have victory and we can bring the whole church into victory when all the people agree together so you can bring all the people in your church together and say do you want victory do you want to be united together to love God to honor God to have strength from God and to have you know obedience to God and fall uh, uh, turn away from sins and never want to sin and turn away from anger and lust and anger and yelling at people we want to love people and honor people even if people have sins we still want to forgive them and to be nice to them and bless them then we're not affected by the the, uh, the negative things of people we don't eat the garbage of people we want to bless the people then we can change the people and bless them then our whole life will become stronger and stronger then the life of the people around us will become strong and the church will become strong whenever anyone can bring anyone to Christ will let the person share with the whole group and glorify God and encourage the person so that more people will do evangelism and whenever a person repent from his ways of laziness and become more zealous in the Lord we ask them to share also how they become zealous in the Lord they become stronger in the Lord and they serve in God with power with the strength then we also share with them uh, and that they will share with the group to encourage the group so this way will build up the momentum when we love God and we enjoy God when we have strength in God and we build up our members build up them 
uh, build up them, uh, build up the members so that they will love God and they will they serve God and love people and do evangelism and strengthen other people and pray for people for miracles for healing to drive out demons and then people have more faith and when people can do more things for God we'll we'll help them we'll build them up so that they will serve God more when we build up more people to serve God uh, in a church that the church will become stronger and stronger so I hope that that we can have victory in God we can bring more people in the church to follow God and have victory and then we have a victorious life and we enjoy our ministry more and more so I hope you see that we, have, we base our teaching on the Bible the Bible gives us assurance how to have victory and we don't do things that the Bible doesn't teach those things are not fruitful we want to follow God's way God promises that when we follow His way He will bless us so we follow God's way to bring victory to have to defeat over Satan then God will bless us so God be with you 